हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू सॉल्व पंचिंग मशीन न्यूमेरिकल सो इन अवर क्वेश्चन डेटा इज गिवन अ मशीन पंचिंग 38 एट एम डायमीटर होल्स इन 32 टू एम एम थिक प्लेट रिक्वायर्स सेवन न्यूटन इंटू मीटर ऑफ एनर्जी पर स्क्वायर एम एम ऑफ शेयर एरिया एंड पंच वन होल इन एवरी टेन सेकेंड सो इन अवर क्वेश्चन डायमीटर इज गिवन थर्टी एट एम एम एंड थिक प्लेट इज गिवन थर्टी टू एम एम सो डी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एट एम एम एंड थिकनेस टी इज गिवन थर्टी टू एम एम एंड नेक्स्ट डेटा इज गिवन एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज सेवन न्यूटन इंटू मीटर ऑफ एनर्जी पर स्क्वायर एम एम ऑफ शेयर एरिया सो एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज गिवन सेवन न्यूटन इंटू मीटर पर एम एम स्क्वायर ऑफ शेयर एरिया एंड पंच वन होल इन एवरी टेन सेकेंड कैलकुलेट द पावर ऑफ द मोटर रिक्वायर्ड द मीन स्पीड ऑफ द फ्लाईवील इज ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो मीन स्पीड वी इज गिवन ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड द पंच हैज अ स्ट्रॉक ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एम सो स्ट्रॉक इज गिवन एस इज इक्वल टू गिवन हंड्रेड एम एम फाइंड द मास ऑफ द फ्लाईवील रिक्वायर If the total fluctuation of speed is not to exceed three percentage of the mean speed, so total fluctuation of speed, fluctuation of speed that is given v one minus v two is not to exceed three percentage of the mean speed. So mean speed that is we already defined that is v. So v one minus v two is equal to if percentage removed then divided by hundred. So three by hundred into v. So v one minus v two is equal Equal to zero point zero three into v. Assume that the motor supplies energy to the machine at uniform rate. So in our question, data is given. D is equal to thirty eight mm. Thickness is given thirty two mm. Energy required that is seven newton into meter per mm square of shear area. Power of the motor we have to find mean speed that is given v is equal to twenty five meter per second. Stroke is given s is equal to hundred mm. Mass of the flywheel we find then v one minus v two is equal to zero point zero three into v. Let's solve this example step by step. In step number one we find shear area per hole. So consider this is a plate. and if we required to punch a hole in this plate so what is the shear area of this hole that is the length of the circle multiply thickness of the plate so length of the circle that is given by pi d multiply thickness of the plate that is given by t so shear area per hole that is given by equation pi d t so pi multiply d d is given 38 mm and thickness is given 32 mm so Answer is three eight two zero point one seven mm square. So shear area per hole that is three eight two zero point one seven mm square. In step number two, we find total energy required per hole. So in our question, data is given energy required that is seven newton into meter per mm square of shear area. So what is the meaning of this sentence? Seven newton into meter. Per mm square. So in one mm square, energy required that is seven newton into meter. So here, shear area is given three eight two zero point one seven mm square. So in one mm square, energy required that is seven newton into meter. So three eight two zero point one seven mm square. How much energy is required? So Three eight two zero point one seven multiply seven divided by one. So total energy required per hole is given by E one is equal to three eight two zero point one seven multiply seven. So two six seven four one newton into meter energy required per hole. In step number three, find energy required for punching work per second. So in our question, time required to punch the hole that is given ten second. So energy required for punching work per second that is given by two six seven four one 
that is the total energy required per volt divided by time that is given 10 second so 26741 divided by 10 so energy required for punching work per second that is 2674 newton into meter per second in step number 4 find power of the motor so we know that basic equation of power that is given by work divided by time work per unit time so power of the motor required that is given 2674 watt because we already find that work punching work per second means work divided by time the, that we already find that is 2674 so power of the motor required that is 2674 watt in step number 5 find time required to punch a hole in a 32 mm thick plate that is given by equation 1 by 2 multiply time required for one hole divided by stroke multiply thickness so in our question data is given stroke is equal to 100 mm time required for one hole that is given 10 second thickness is given 32 mm so put this value in above equation we get 1 by 2 multiply time required for one hole that is 10 divided by stroke that is 100 mm and thickness that is given 32 mm. So time required to punch a hole in a 32 mm thick plate that is 1.6 second. In step number 6 we find energy supplied by the motor. So energy supplied by the motor that is given by E2 is equal to we already find power of the motor that is 2674 multiply time required to punch a hole in a 32 mm thick plate so e2 is equal to 1.6 into 2674 is equal to 4278.4 newton into meter so energy supplied by the motor is equal to 4278.4 so we already find that is e1 is equal to 26741 newton into meter and energy supplied by the motor that is E2 is equal to 4278.4 Newton into meter. So in step number 7 find maximum fluctuation of energy. So maximum fluctuation of energy delta E is equal to E1 minus E2. So E1 we already find that is 26741 and E2 that is 4278.4. So maximum fluctuation of energy delta E is equal to 22462.6 Newton into meter. In step number 8 we find coefficient of fluctuation of speed so what is the meaning of coefficient of fluctuation of speed so coefficient of fluctuation of speed is the ratio of maximum fluctuation of speed to the mean speed is called coefficient of fluctuation of speed so cs is equal to n1 minus n2 by n omega 1 minus omega 2 by omega is equal to v1 minus v2 by v so in our question data is given total fluctuation of speed is not to exceed 3% of the mean speed that means v1 minus v2 is equal to 3% of the mean speed so if percentage sign removed then divided by 100 so v1 minus v2 is equal to 3 by 100 into v so v1 minus v2 is given 0 0.03 into v so cs is equal to v1 minus v2 by v according to definition of coefficient of fluctuation of speed and in our question data is given v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 0.03 into v rearrange this equation v1 minus v2 divided by v is equal to 0 0.03 so coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is given by cs is equal to 0 0.03 in step number 9 find mass of the flywheel know that maximum fluctuation of energy delta e is equal to mk square omega square cs in place of k we write r so m r square omega square cs and what is the basic relation between linear velocity and angular velocity that is v is equal to r omega so rewrite this equation in place of r square omega square we write v square so m v square cs so we already find the value of maximum fluctuation of energy that is delta E is equal to 22462.6 and V is given, mean speed is given in our equation that is 25. 
25 meter per second so 25 square and coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is 0.03 so in place of cs we write 0.03 so mass of the flywheel that is given by 1198 kg so in any punching machine numerical first step is to find shear area per hole that is given by equation pi dt in next step we find total energy required per hole so per mm square energy is given 7 newton into meter so total energy required per hole that is e1 is equal to 26741 newton into meter in step number 3 find energy required for punching work per second that is 26741 divided by 10 in step number 4 find power of the motor so basic equation that is power is equal to work per time so we already find that punching work per second so that is 2674 that's why power of the motor required that is 2674 watt in step number 5 find time required to punch a hole you know 32 mm thick plate remember this equation 1 by 2 multiply time required for one hole divided by stroke multiply thickness in step number 6 find energy supplied by the motor so e2 is equal to time required to punch a hole in a 32 mm thick plate multiply power of the motor required so we get e2 then we find maximum fluctuation of energy that is delta e is equal to e1 minus e2 coefficient of fluctuation speed according to data we find cs is equal to 0 0.03 and remember this last equation maximum fluctuation of energy that is given by mk square omega square cs in place of radius of gyration we put radius of flywheel so mr square omega square cs the relation between linear velocity and angular velocity that is v is equal to r omega so delta e is equal to mv square cs put this value and we find mass of the flywheel thank you